if you want to know how you can make your own Twitter code system for your game on Roblox, you're going to have to watch this video also to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a Twitter code, a GUI, whatever system, reward, whatever you want to call it. What it means is if you fill in a code and click redeem, and if that code is true, and if you have not redeemed it already, you can get some a little bit of reward, for example, 10,000 money or whatever you want. So it's going to be an epic tutorial, and um, yeah, I want to thank Target Blocks for helping for a little bit. And then I realized my error and I fixed it. But thank you for helping. And also thanks to Luba Scripts for trying out to help. Uh, before I start this video, if you do like it, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell. Become a member, do anything you want. And all I can say is that without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. And I said that really wrong, but okay. Anyway, uh, before we start, you need to get the model from the link in the description. So make sure to do that and then head back to the tutorial. After that, what you want to do, you want to go to view, you want to go to toolbox, and then uh, you want to go to the dots over here. And then you want to get the Twitter code system from me. It includes two scripts, nobody cares. Okay. Now you want to put uh, the things in their directory. So replicated storage goes in. Replicated storage. Server script service goes into server script service. Start your GUI goes into start your GUI. And you'll immediately see a code over here. Don't worry. Uh, then you can delete everything. And then um, we can open the scripts, two scripts, and um, it's going to be epic. So first of all, we're going to start off with the small script, because that one is very easy. <laughs> okay. Local replicated, let me zoom in. Local replicated storage. Is it just a game? Come on, get service replicated storage. Then script dot parent dot frame dot redeem dot mouse button one click colon connect function of a nothing. So what this does, if you click redeem, uh, we're going to just let the game do its thing. Replicated storage dot Twitter, colon fire server, redeem in a string in uh, speech marks, and script dot parent dot frame dot uh, text box dot text, like this. After you click redeem, we're going to make sure that the frame goes away and that the text also goes away. So script dot parent dot frame dot visible is equal to false because the frame is going to go away. And a script dot parent dot frame dot text box dot text is equal to nothing. So if you would fill something in, it's gonna be deleted. You know, you get the point. Okay. Now lastly, script dot parent dot text button dot mouse button one click colon connect function of nothing. And all we're gonna define here is script dot parent dot frame dot visible is equal to not script dot parent dot frame dot visible. And what this does is basically, um, if the frame is open, it's going to close it, and if it's closed, it's going to open it. Basically that. Let's continue to the server script. And now we're going to start off with coding this. So local players, oh, local players, this is the game. <coughs> game colon get service players. Uh, as you can see, it returns the service with the requested class name, creating it if it doesn't exist. And the class name is the class name of the requested service. So that's, uh, Roblox really explains it pretty okay, I'd say. So yeah, that's that's an advantage. So now local replicated storage, as you can see, the game, colon get service replicated storage, so we can define the Twitter uh, remote event. Local data store service, as you can see, the game, colon get service data store service. And before we start, go to home, go to game settings, go to security, and turn on studio access to API services, and click save. Now we need two databases. We need a code database to uh, check if you already uh, redeemed one of the codes. And we need a money one, so we can see if it like, yeah, uh, just to save your money, um, because yeah, that's also needed. Local code DB. Is it just a data store service? Call on get data store, and then we're gonna do a code DB. I'm just gonna do code DB. Now for the exact same, just copy it, paste it, and then money DB, and just change it over here too. Very simple. Local code table is equal to this, and then in square brackets, and then a speech mark. You want to put your code name. So for example, newbie, and I'm gonna give it the value of ten thousand, and then semicolon. 
Now, if you want another code, you can do that simply. Uh, I'm just going to do one of my friends, uh, Tiger. Why not? Ti tiger blocks is equals to uh, 25,000. And I'm going to do uh, Lua scripts for, um, yeah, why not? Let's just do uh, a million because that's really cool. So this is the name of the code and this is the value you're going to get if you give them uh, when they redeem it. Okay. Local function player added of a player. We're going to. Uh, over here, we're just going to load your data, uh, just so you have your money back. So, local leader stats is instance.new, and we're going to make a folder, because leader stats is a folder. We're going to name it leader stats, just like this, and we're going to put the leader stats into the player, like this. So, you got leader stats, you got the leader stats uh, name, and you got the parent of it, which is the player. Sorry for my English. Local money, because now we're going to make the actual money. So, local money is equal to instance.new, a number value. And uh, money dot uh, name is equal to money because it's money, and we're gonna put the money in your leader stats. And what that does is uh, at the top right of your screen on your name, you're gonna see like money. Local data. Let me just go down. Local data is equal to money database because uh, for money we're gonna use the money database. So local data is equal to money database colon get async. And what this does, it will return. Uh, well, <clears throat> it will return uh, the value what is inside of money database. So over here, we're checking if data is other than nil, and nil means nothing. So if there's something in that data, we're gonna set your money as that. So money dot value is equal to data. But if you if you don't have any data, we're gonna, just gonna set your money to nothing because you don't have anything. This is the uh, player added. Now. Uh, local function local function and we're gonna do player removing of a player and when the player leaves we're gonna also save data we're gonna save the money so money database gonna set async now we're gonna set it we're gonna set it on the player's user ID that is always the case so always player user ID and what we're gonna do is player leader stats the money that value because the value of money database is your money over here and before we continue let's just connect these events so for underscore comma player in i pairs players call on get players do and then player added of the player players dot player added colon connect function of a uh, not function my bad just player added and players dot player removing colon connect of player removing like this now between the player removing and the uh, how's it called the the loop over here, we are gonna code our event. So replicate a storage dot Twitter dot on server event colon connect function. We need a player, we need an argument, and we need the code which the player uh, puts in. So if you go to the client, this is the code they're gonna put in, and this is your argument. The player automatically gets fired, so you don't have to worry about that. First, we're gonna do three checks. If not player then return end because we need a player if not argument then return end because we also need an argument yes if not code lastly then return end so if none of these are here we're just going to stop the code from running now we need to check what the argument is so if argument is equals equals to redeem because in the client script over here the argument is redeem and over here we're checking if it's the same as redeem if that's the case, we're going to make a table. So local used table is equals to empty brackets over here. Just uh, cur curved brackets, curly brackets, whatever you want to call them. Um, just add those. Now local data is equals to code database. Now we're going to retrieve your data from the uh, from the codes you used. So code database, colon get async player dot user ID. And now we're going to check if you have any data. And if that's true, we're going to put them in the used table so this will just be like this will turn into something um, with a lot of codes in it and uh, later on we can check if you already redeemed those because if they're in the table you redeem them so if data is other than nothing nil is nothing then for uh, underscore underscore comma v and pairs data deal and then we're just going to insert them into the table. So table that insert, we're going to insert them and use the table. And we're going to insert V like that. If code table, uh, code, so 
uh, this means if the code table, so which is this one, this table, and the code is a string, so if code table and then one of these strings, if it's in there, then you can re then you can redeem something. But we gotta check first if there is something in the table. So if not table that find on the use table and your code. So if it's not in the in the table yet. So for example, newbie, if that's not in the in the table yet, you can redeem it. So table dot insert use table into the code. Now uh, we need to add some money. So player not leader stats the money that value plus equals two number. So it's going to be a number and then code table and then the code of it like that. And this is going to be the value behind it. So for example, 10,000, 25,000 or a million like that. And after that, we just need to put it on the database. Um, so we know that next time uh, when we map it out over here, uh, we know that you already redeemed it. So set async player user ID and the used table. This is everything done. And let's test this out in a real game. And now that we are joining the game, we're going to see. So I have no data. As you can see, I have no data. So I'm getting uh, zero money. For example, um, one of the codes I can redeem is newbie. Newbie. And let's click redeem. 3, 2, 1, redeem. And as you can see, 10,000 cash gets added to my account uh, after all the checks have been done. So let's try it again. Newbie. And I already redeemed it. So let's see. Yeah, nothing happens, as you can see. So uh, one of the other codes was tiger blocks. And let's click redeem, boom, and another $25,000 gets added to my account. Let's see what happens when I leave and when I rejoin, um, to see what happens. And we are rejoining, we should have $35,000 and the answer is $35,000, let's go. And now let's try it again, tiger blocks. We already redeemed it and boom, I cannot redeem it again. So let's try the last one, Lua scripts, 321, redeem, and I have above a million dollars so if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial if you're going to use this in your game make sure to give it a like if you like this video if you don't like it give it a dislike on the video uh, subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification uh, turn the notification bell whoa my english just quit on me but uh turn on the notification bell to never miss out on anything i upload become a member do anything you want subscribe thank you all so much all i can say is that my name is doobie and i say peace out